Hello, I want to build a ship and make it as small as I can. Basically a speeder bike like this, but with a fully enclosed cockpit. You already know how it's going to look like, I don't, so uh, I hope it's going to turn out well. Let's see, and uh, let's get right into it. I think that's a pretty good start already. Can definitely work with that. And I think I'm just gonna keep working on this a little bit. I think I can make it a bit smaller still, and then I'll show you what I can come up with in a bit. Alright, I'm back with version 2, which is just the same, but smaller. Very nice. And version 3, which is even smaller. A lot smaller actually. I really like that. Yeah, this, in terms of size, that's getting somewhere. I think a lot smaller doesn't really make sense. The cockpit is already only one block thick on either side. And then for the last version, I did something special. I added some hinges and some slabs to get these nice 15 degree angles. And that's pretty much it so far. I think this looks fairly nice already. I can, I can see the, the shape, I can see what it's gonna look like in the end, I guess. And at this point, I'm just gonna try and put some thrusters in there, I guess, and some batteries and see how well it will fly. Next version, and it flies, but well, it doesn't fly very well. Yeah, it's just not enough power for all the thrusters and pretty sure I'm gonna crash in just a few seconds. Ah, this is really hard to control. Yeah, I definitely need a second battery. Oh, yeah, there it is. Alright, back to the drawing board. Okay, that was the version you just saw and I definitely needed a second battery. So, I just tried out a few things. Uh, it was really hard to place enough thrusters uh, with all these batteries there. It is a pretty small ship after all. I tried out a few things and eventually I got there. This one worked pretty well. I had enough space for like six thrusters going up and another four forwards. And this does really fly quite well. So now it's almost done already, I think. Just need some some reshaping of the surface a bit and some detailing here and there. And then the colouring and that's it. Alright, let's see how it's gonna look after that. Next version. It has new wings now, and I think they're much cooler. 
and also the color isn't so weird anymore. <laughs> and the top is also different. Um, it's, it's now flat and I think it looks a lot cleaner. But I really don't like these panels. It's just the same texture repeated over and over again. It's just stupid. I don't know. I have to replace it with something else. But I did realize one thing, which is that, well, this cockpit is kind of cool, but the only way to enter right now is through here, which, yeah, that's that's not going to work. I need this to somehow fold open. So first thing I tried was to just put a hinge back here and then have all of these panels flip open. It's not terrible, but it looks a bit weird. So next idea, have it fold open at the front. That's a lot cooler, I think. You can open and close it like that. I really like that, especially the spotlight at the bottom. That's cool. But I want to get rid of these panels, so I came up with this. Just use some slabs. And the cool thing is they actually basically go into the cockpit. So the slabs and the cockpit essentially share the same space. But for some reason it works, there's no clang or anything, so very nice. And also replace the ones at the back here with some more slabs. And this is basically the finished ship, I guess. I just need to give it a proper coloring. This is just some like preliminary stuff. And that's it. Alright, let's see you after the coloring. Okay, I couldn't stop at just one color, so I just made five different paint jobs. I mean, it's such a small ship, it doesn't take very long. I think my favorite is the orange one. They all have their own... I don't know, I, I kind of like them all, but I think my favorite is the orange one, so... I guess that's the, the, the final version for me. And if you compare it, you'll notice it's not just a different color. There's a lot more, lots more detail here, and I, I think I pretty much just had a bunch of different textures all um, interspersed with each other. Like I think this is the the sci-fi stuff, and then there's some some better uh, texture as well, like here and there. Normal, I don't know. I used just like three or four different textures for this, I think, and it really does add a lot of detail compared to just having like normal or clean texture. Yeah, that's it. That's the, the final ship.